Good afternoon, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for Saturday and today I'm using the illustrated Herbarary card deck for my reading and I shuffle the cards, assigned one card to each zodiac and this card that comes up now is for Aquarius. The card is Valerian and it says release rigidity. Valerian stands tall in the garden. Her stem is stiff to compensate for a hollow core. But do not let her upright stance fool you. Valerian dreams of being a cat. In her efforts to become more mammalian, she is evolved as an animal-like oil that acts as perfume to those with feline proclivities while smelling like sweaty gym socks to the rest of us. Why a cat, you may ask? Well, Valerian has been watching felines and she has come to the gleeful conclusion that cats are rather shameless and more content because of it. She is asking you to aspire to a life free of self-flagellation and daily denigration. Valerian begs you to relax your armored body, your stiff thoughts, your rigid emotions and then join her for a shameless afternoon nap. Do the ritual called rest. Valerian wants only one thing from you, namely an afternoon nap, especially if you have the idea that naps are lazy or too luxurious for you to indulge in. Find a sunny spot and curl up for 10 to 20 minutes, which is the ideal length of time for napping because it allows your body to deeply relax without your mind dropping into REM sleep. The cat nap is about showing that research has found that when we are left to our own devices, humans do a big sleep at night and a second shorter sleep in the afternoon. So not napping is actually unnatural. You are hardwired for an afternoon siesta. If you know that you are going to have a late night, preemptive napping for up to two hours is the way to go. And as with all things, one size does not fit all. Some people are simply not good nappers, so listen to your body. Do this reflection called exploring shame. Shame is the feeling you get when you behave in a way that is opposing to your ideals. We have all experienced big shames, necessary learning moments that allow us to fine-tune our moral compass. To fine-tune our moral compass. But when we allow our thinking to become overly rigid or self-righteous, we create a million corrosive small shames. So think about when you last felt ashamed. What ideal did you not quite live up to? Looking back, was your shame attached to unnecessarily rigid thinking? Is there a way to be kinder while still being true to yourself? Say this now from Seth Godin. Shame is the dream killer because shame or the possibility of shame 
amplifies our fear of fears, keeps us from contributing and short circuits our willingness to explore. So that was your reading Aquarius. I found it a bit unusual the whole thing but this is what came out for you. I wish you a wonderful Saturday. I wish you a great Sunday. Take care and goodbye.